Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, everyone. I'd kindly request everyone to please take your seats as we are going to start right away. We will start with the press conference. So thank you so much, everyone, for being uh, here, coming down here. It's very, very important for us as a company. And all you being here makes it even bigger than how it is. My name is Faizan. I'm from 89.1 Radio 4, and I'm also the creative director for Sports Spirit Federation. And I will be your host for tonight. Of course, as is customary in the UAE, we will start with the national anthem first and foremost. So I'd like you to uh, stand up in your seats for the UAE national anthem, everyone. So once again, thank you all for coming down here tonight for this press conference. Each and everyone's presence is most appreciated. Once again, if you missed out on the first part, my name is Fezan, and as I say on the radio, Bande ka naam Fezan. I'm from 89.1 Radio 4, and I'm also the creative director at Sports Spirit Federation. And first and foremost, I'd like to thank our partners for this event. Uh, this won't have been possible without our partners. That is, uh, Sports Spirit Federation presents Camp with the Champ. So. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the Positive Spirit Initiative of um, Dubai Police along with People of Determination, Dubai Police. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much for being here with our event as well. Also, our um, associate partners, Bangla Tigers. This won't have been possible without Bangla Tigers as well. Salham Stakes, Brew.ae, Summer TV, Yours Truly, 89.1 Radio 4. NDTS, Crick Fracker, Avian Events, Arian Hygiene Guard, and Khalij Times, of course. And thank you once again to all the media personalities who are here with us tonight. Thank you so much for taking the time and coming down here. So ladies and gentlemen, a brief introduction about Sports Spirit Federation. There was a huge gap between all the other events that happen here in the UAE and the sports events in particular that happen here in the UAE. To bridge that gap, we have started a company called Sports Spirit Federation. We've been slowly growing in, in the domestic cricket circuit. We have done quite a few tournaments under this company's name, but this is the big one. This is where we meet the big boys. So Sports Spirit Federation is proud to present their very big, the first ever event that we are doing like this. It's called Camp with the Champ. And of course, the champion is Mohammad Azharuddin, and we will introduce you to him shortly. But before that, I'd like to introduce all our dignitaries who are here with us, and I'd like to one by one invite them onto the stage. So first and foremost, I'd like to invite Mr. Arbab Khan onto the stage. Please join me here. He's the co-owner of Sports Spirit Federation. Mr. Arbab Khan has a chain of restaurants and also run a general contracting company in the UAE. Please, Mr. Arbab, join us on the stage. And please take your seat as well. Next, I'd like to invite Mr. Mohammad Saifullah. He's the founder and owner of Sports Spirit Federation. In the sports industry, he holds a position of the director of Deccan Gladiators, a franchise in the Abu Dhabi T10 League. He is also a director in Ajman Cricket Council. Put your hands together for 
Mr. Mohammad Saifullah. Please take your seat, sir. Next up, I'd like to invite Mr. Josefa Ibrahim. He's the honorary chief of operations of Sports Spirit Federation and also the global peace ambassador and chairman of Parkinson's in the UAE. Mr. Josefa Ibrahim, everyone. Next up, I'd like to invite Mr. Yasin Chaudhry. He is the chairman of FMC Dockyard and owner of Bangla Tigers, a franchise in the Abu Dhabi T10 League. <laughs> Next up, a person who needs no introduction, I'd like to invite a bowler who has troubled most batsmen when he's playing. He has played over 165 internationals for his side, the South African cricket team. He certainly is a living legend as well. Mr. Imran Tahir, everyone. Let's have him on the stage. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being here with us. Uh, Mr. Muhammad Azharuddin will be joining us shortly as well. But before introducing him to you, uh, once again, as I was saying about Sports Spirit Federation, that it is a new company. We have just started. We have done quite a few events under the belt. And now we are coming in public forums and uh, doing the big things, what the big boys do. So this is our first big event called Camp with the Champ with Muhammad Azharuddin. And for that, I'd like to unveil the logo of Sports Spirit Federation, everyone. <laughs> So that's our logo, and to talk about the company itself, I'd like to invite Mr. Arbab Khan, the co-owner of Sports Spirit Federation, and um, to give us insight on what Sports Spirit Federation holds. So put your hands together for Mr. Arbab Khan, everyone. Thank you, Fazan. So assalamu alaikum and, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone tonight here. Yeah. It is a, a moment of great privilege, honor, and an excellent opportunity to introduce Sports Spirit Federation at this forum. Sports Spirit Federation is a sports event management company, and we are a sports consulting firm, which gives a turnkey solution in sports tournaments. We organize leagues, camps, tournaments, and we are a sports marketing, talent management, and franchisee management. Okay, sports Spirit uh, will give a platform to youngsters where they can get the opportunity to play with international cricketers and they can develop their skills. So there will be an opportunity for the youngster to show their talent in the world of sports. Uh, we are grateful that the legend Mr. Muhammad Azaruddin is associated with us as a partner of Chief in Sports Spirit. Uh, for now, we are starting with the camp, which is called the Camp with the Champ, which already Fazan spoke about it. And it is with the legend, Muhammad Azharuddin. And uh, that is all from my side. Uh, thank you once again, everyone. Uh, thank you, media. Thank you, guests. Thank you, everyone. It's my pleasure. Short and crisp, Mr. Arbab Khan, ladies and gentlemen. Um, for uh, the next um, personality that I'd like to invite, on a very personal note, I know him for a long time now. He's a very colorful person, a person who thinks a lot in his head, and the best part is he executes it on paper as well. I'd like to invite Mr. Mohammad Saifullah, the founder and owner of Sports Spirit Federation. And before we do that, before we do that, before he comes and speaks, we are going to reveal the logo of Camp with the Champ, our very first big event happening with Sports Spirit Federation. Let's put it up there. Mr. Saifullah, can we have some kind words about Camp with the Champ from you? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would be very thankful to the, my guest, honored. Uh, we are really honored to have Mr. Imran Tahir, who is a current legend and played for South Africa and played for IPL also. And still, he's a very, very, very good player and a good friend. All the media, my friends, 
and in fact, Muhammad Azharuddin, who is also here. I'm really thankful to all of them that they have joined us on this auspicious today. And that's a Sports Pro Spirit Federation's Day. As Fazan Bhai, thank you very much for honoring me with such words. To be very frank, you know, I'm too young. Uh, today, the camp with the champ, everybody must be thinking what exactly camp with the champ is. So, I'll tell you about the camp with the champ, what exactly it is. It is a TV show where is going to shot in UAE and will be shot in ICC Academy for the next uh, coming days, say 10th to 12th June. It's an opportunity for all the youngsters to learn the basics and intricacies of cricket from the legend himself, that is Muhammad Azruddin. Camp with the champ, we are starting with Muhammad Azruddin because he is our patron in chief. And he will not be alone in this camp with the champ, but he will be in all the camp with the champs episodes. And I am expecting our next episode will be Imran Tahir also. And that would be our pleasure if he accepts our request for the same. Camp is going to kick off from 10 to 12 June and will run for three consecutive days. And it will be the first ever sports talk show of UAE where the legend would share their cricketing knowledge with the youngsters in the camp. This will be broadcast across different channels, digital media, and various OTT platforms catering to a global audience. Camp with the Champ will give an opportunity to young players to enhance their skills to learn new techniques and methods to train their body and mind just by watching the reels and snippets from the show that is called Camp with the Champ. Apart from this, the viewers would also get to know Muhammad Azruddin up close and personal, and legend will be sharing the facts about his personal and professional life. The show will take you down memory lane with some of the most iconic moments from the most glorious era of the Indian and international cricket. From the eyes of Muhammad Azruddin and from his life. This 30 minutes long light-hearted talk show will also take you through the favorite places like, as you see, Dubai tourism and all these things. And Azhar will also speak about uh, the Dubai's life and how he spent his life in UAE. The show will also include a 10-minute segment of the camp with the champ where the kids will be coming and performing the game and Azhar will be closely watching the game and will be selecting some of the kids to give them a path, say pathway, to reach to an international format of cricket, which is T10, here. So this will be something really very good for the kids who are 15 years, 16 years, 19 years, 20 years, and they will get a chance to play side by side with the international players who are currently either representing their country or representing the leagues. And it will be the best way to hone their skills, to develop their skills, and get experience from these international players. For this camp with the champ, we have come with an idea that we discuss with a lot of the international players that how it, uh, the camp with the champ should be. So they have said that we should give them the pathway to reach to the international players to learn directly with them. So this idea came, we discussed, I have a team, very young team, Fezan is also a part of it, who is fortunately our host also today, and thanks for that. Then we should, the new guys who are like, 15 years, 16 years, and up to between 15 to 20 years, they should definitely get a chance to play with international players because this is the place where they will learn. No doubt, the kids learn from the coaches directly and they really work hard. But until, unless they don't get the platform, they cannot showcase their talent. So now, let's play. I would request all the kids of UAE that if they really want to play a cricket, they can directly learn their skills from the legends, not only with one, but with many. Thank you very much.
Jeff, unfortunately, you have taken my request. I'm afraid it's my turn. <laughs> I told you he's colorful, no? <laughs> well, thank you so much, uh, Saifullah. In brief, if I have to explain what Camp with the Champ is, as he in detail talked about, so basically it is a platform that is happening on ground for three days where the kids can come and learn directly from Mohammed Azharuddin in our first episode and later on with all the other legends. And that part is gonna be covered and made into a 30 minute segment as well, which is gonna be um, a regular thing from Sports Spirit Federation, which we are uh, coming up with more such events as Saif pointed out. So this is um, where we meet the big boys. This is where all the young players in the UAE get the opportunity, the exposure. And not just this, not just this. Just think, just think about learning from the legends themselves for three days, up close and personal. But apart from that as well, thanks to Bangla Tigers who are here. Mr. Yasin Chaudhary is here with us. Thanks to Bangla Tigers, they will also get the opportunity to play with the Bangla Tigers international players in their nets. And that is the big one as well. So players selected by Mohammad Azharuddin in the camp will also get 10,000 dirhams in cash. Along with that, an opportunity to do nets with Bangla Tigers players. Not just this, this is not it. Apart from this as well, players who are selected, who are the creme de la creme from them, will be taken to the Abu Dhabi T10 League and will get to stay with the Bangla, uh, Bangla Tigers international players. This is what we are doing. This is the kind of exposure that we are giving out to kids who want to learn cricket, who want to play cricket in the future, and who want to do something and make a career out of cricket. And that is why this Camp with the Champ is really, really, really important. So once again, I want to thank you all uh, for coming down here. Next up, the guest that I would like to invite is Mr. Josefa, who's honorary COO of Sports Spirit Federation to speak about his vision for SSF, and not just this, and not just this, Mr. Josefa is a global peace ambassador as well, and he is heading the chairman of Pakistan's UAE also. Of course, the Dubai police has come up with some great initiatives. The first one is Positive Spirits Initiative, and also the People of Determination Council of Dubai Police. Thank you once again for being a part of this. So Mr. Josefa is gonna talk about Sports Spirit Federation. He's also going to talk about the Positive Spirits Initiative. Please welcome Mr. Josefa Ibrahim, everyone. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Faizan, for the nice words. Thank you everyone for being here. Before we start, I will just uh, ask the team to just play the visual that we have for uh, the Positive Spirit Initiative of Dubai Police. Please. Coming back to what I'm here to speak about before I start anything, I would like to just say a quote of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, where he says, the future belongs to those who can imagine it, design it, 
and execute it. The future does not wait. The future can be designed and built today. And this is what UAE is about. <laughs> United Arab Emirates is the future, and the future is United Arab Emirates. <laughs> Here in the United Arab Emirates, we're really delighted to have the best leadership in the whole world, where you can see everyone living so peacefully, so harmoniously. And I do not think that you will be able to see any other country where more than 200 nationalities will be living as if they are all part of one family. This is what UAE is about. <laughs> you will not see any country which will have a ministry for happiness, you will not see another, any other country which will have a ministry for tolerance, for coexistence. These are the true values of United Arab Emirates. Being united is the basis or the basic of United Arab Emirates. This is where the whole community gets united. So whatever event it may be, of whatever background it may be, whatever it will be, you will see the whole community coming together without looking at anyone's background, without looking at anyone's ethnicity. Everyone, come forward, help one another, support one another to make sure that everyone lives in the best possible way. Talking about today's event, today's event is of no difference than whatever I just spoke about. Sports always brings everyone together. It is by sports that we are able to connect with one another. And cricket is a sport that connects east to the west. I'm sure you agree with that. Thank you. So, cricket. Thank you. Cricket connects east to the west. And the amount of love that I have noticed in the community is something that makes me really delighted. Uh, let's not forget, we've had the best events of international level here in the United Arab Emirates. Time has come, I would say, that the whole community needs to work together, needs to support one another. And this is one thing that the uh, Sport Spirit Foundation, uh, Federation is about, that we would like to motivate more and more of national talent in the United Arab Emirates to come and join cricket, to come and play cricket. We have lots of events uh, in the pipeline for the whole community when it comes to cricket. So, I would say that that day is not far where we will see players who are UAE nationals playing, not only playing, but actually getting the World Cup for the United Arab Emirates. We believe that UAE is the best, and UAE has the best of everything. And UAE will always be the best. <laughs> Talking about champ with the camp, uh, camp with the champ. As everyone might be knowing, champions are not made in the gyms. Champions are made from something they have deep inside them. A desire, a dream, a vision. And this is what I have seen in Brother Muhammad Azaruddin. <laughs> it's that desire which has brought him to this point. It's that dream he had that we are all together here. 
It's because of his vision that he wants to pass this on to the next generation. Not everyone would be doing that. Everyone thinks about themselves only. But because he has this love of cricket, he has achieved, he is the best, he has been the best, and he wants to share this knowledge with the next generation. And this is what I urge everyone, to share their knowledge with everyone so that the next generation will continue to achieve because wherever we are living in right now, it is because of the generation that was before us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm not gonna take more of your time. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you all. Thank you. One of the most eloquent speakers that I've uh, met, that's Mr. Josefa. Thank you so much for your kind words. And he was rightly saying that I can accept it. I've been living in the UAE for the past 14 years. This is the most inclusive and the most tolerant country in the world. So let's give it up for the UAE, ladies and gentlemen. Also, there was one very important point that he made. He was talking about the determination that comes from within. He was talking about Muhammad Azharuddin. Yesterday itself, I was talking to uh, Muhammad Azharuddin's brother, younger brother, uh, Mr. Faris. So I met him and I was talking to him about how Azhar was as a kid. The first thing he mentioned about Muhammad Azharuddin was the fact that he was the most determined kid that he had seen in his own whole life. So that is where determination takes us to big and bigger and bigger levels. And I can tell you this, that the Sports Spirit Federation is also determined to change the game here in the UAE, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we can clap for this. All right, up next, before I invite my next guest, Mr. Yasin Chaudhary, there's um, an AV to be played, so let's quickly take a look at that. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the owner of Bangla Tigers and he has been a very important part of Sports Spirit Federation as well, helping us, supporting us all throughout. Let's invite Mr. Yasin Chaudhary, Chairman, FMC Dockyard and Bangla Tigers onto the stage to kindly speak a few words. Thank you. Hi everyone. I, uh, I would like to thank everyone for being present over here. Uh, thanks for coming. I'm uh, very proud to have this opportunity uh, of being part of this Camp with the Champ in association with uh, Muhammad Azharuddin, the living legend and a sport federation to popularize cricket amongst the kids and to improve their basic techniques. In addition to my shipbuilding business, I'm a shipbuilder. Uh, I've been involved with the cricket for last uh, 25 years as an organizer and participating on uh, Abu Dhabi T10 uh, as a franchisee of Bangla Tiger for, uh, from, for last few uh, uh, season and I'm really proud to have living legend uh, Azharuddin as uh, 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 my ambassador, uh, brand ambassador of Bangla Tiger. In fact, it is not necessary to introduce Mr. Azharuddin. He himself is a brand. He's, uh, he's the only cricketer of India who have the unique distinction of getting a hundred in each of his first three tests. He went on to lead India in ODIs and tests for the major uh, part of 90s. And till date is statistically uh, one of the India's uh, most successful captains. So his ideal personality to lead the kids, cricketer, and we are expecting Lot of kids, beginner will join to learn cricket from living legend, Mr. Muhammad Azharuddin. I hope his uh, 
outstanding motivational coaching style will definitely enlighten the performance of the kids in future. In addition, the toppers and lucky participants uh, will get the opportunity to stay with the international players in Abu Dhabi T10 to share the dressing room and also uh, get the opportunity uh, of being the net bowler uh, of Bangla Tiger for the upcoming season. I would also like to thank Sport Speed Federation and SAIF for associating us with uh, this event. Uh, we know, uh, we know uh, Sports Speed Federation believes in creating unique solutions across the sports industry. Whether they are solutions in a, for a league or a team or business, I'm really proud to work with them. Finally, I would like to extend my gratitude to the stakeholder of the upcoming uh, campaign, Champ with the Camp with the Champ, to implement such an impressive idea to uh, improve the cricketing skills of the little stars. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Yasin Chaudhary and Bangla Tigers. Uh, have been a very, very important part of this camp. There's no doubt about that because this is where we're taking them from the grassroots level and honing their skills in the nets of Bangla Tigers with international players. So once again, let's hear it for uh, Mr. Yasin Chaudhary, everyone. All right, next up, as I said earlier as well, our next guest needs no introduction whatsoever. So without further ado, let me invite Mr. Imran Tahir onto the stage and kindly speak a few words about Muhammad Azharuddin. I promised him one question. I'm going to ask that question right away. Imran Bhai, we were talking backstage, and I asked him, how was it growing up while watching Azharuddin play? This is the first thing that you're going to talk about. Right, Imran Bhai? Please take the mic. And let's hear it for the same Imran Bhai. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, and good evening to all who's present here. My name is Mohammed Imran Tahir. It's an uh, honor to be here, uh, part of this uh, event tonight. Um, look, growing up, uh, going back to Fazan's question, he asked me on the back room uh, that uh, how I feel uh, when I saw Azruddin. Uh, look, growing up, um, I heard his name because he was before my era, and uh, whoever I heard from, they all talked very highly about him and his skills and the way he was and he led India and he took them to obviously um, one of the best team in the world and all his era was uh, unreal um, as a player, as a captain. And when I met him as a human being, um, I really enjoyed meeting with him and it was absolute honor. Um, being part of this uh, camp with Champ, um, uh, look, it's, it's absolute honor for me. Uh, I always, uh, growing up, I didn't have that privilege where I can go into any camps and meet such a big stars like Azruddin or any other who's going to be joining this uh, group, including myself. Uh, like I said, which I'm really, really looking forward for it, and I'm very honored. Um, where I'm going to be next to Muhammad Azruddin, which probably was my dream, and where I can share my knowledge. Um, <laughs> under his wings uh, to the, uh, our youngsters in UAE. Um, well, moving from South Africa, I'm living here now. Uh, so uh, this is my second home. Uh, and uh, I gladly say that it's a beautiful country. Um, lovely people around here. Um, people from all over the world live here. And um, they are very well wisher to each other, which is lovely to see. So uh, I'm uh, obviously also want to thank to Dubai police which is present here, all the ministers, and uh, um, it's also an honor for me. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, to meeting all these people. So um, yeah, um, I'm just really grateful for your services, and especially made this night very special for us, uh, and for all the people, I'm sure, who's present here. So I hope this event goes well, and uh, I'm really looking forward, like I said, to the event uh, which is going to be held on the dates. I don't know, but I will be there to help the kids. Um, um, yeah, thank you very much. Have a lovely, a lovely night, and uh, inshallah, looking forward to hear from the legend, Mr. Muhammad Azruddin, very soon. Thanks, guys. Assalamu alaikum. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Imran Tahir. Really, really sweet. I'll uh, put the dates in your head once again. 10th, 11th, 12th of June. So it's happening on ground on those dates. All right, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we need to invite the legend himself onto the stage to join us here. As an AV is going to play first, and um, we will invite Mr. Mohammed Azhar. You have seen him right hitting the ballers out of the park. You have seen him taking some outstanding slip catches. You have always seen me on the field. You have seen him leading the Indian team to some historic wins. And know me from a distance of 75 yards. He is India's most successful cricket captain, and undoubtedly the most stylish player the game has ever seen. The original captain cool, Mohammad Azharuddin. To know me up close and personal, I invite you to watch my show, Camp with the Champ. Well, yeah, You've, we've got to watch it soon. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's invite the legend who has played 334 ODIs. He has played 99 tests, more than 15,000 runs. Mohammad Azharuddin, ladies and gentlemen. As cool as always, as suave as always, that's Mohammed Azharuddin for you, ladies and gentlemen. And before we all sit down, before we all sit down, let's quickly take a quick picture with the bats in hand and Mohammed Azharuddin's striking a pose. So, sab log koshish karenge, we'll try to strike the same pose as Mr. Mohammed Azharuddin, who's, who will have his bats right now. And uh, can we get the bats, please, so that we can uh, quickly pose with the picture here. So we'll try and play a forward defensive as a right. Eight, eight forward defensive. A drive. So yeah, a drive and everyone will copy you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's quickly take a picture. Please come sir, join us on the stage. Please come and join us on the stage. Let's welcome and thank Dubai police once again for being here tonight. So once again, okay, let's kill the music for now. So once again, let's kill the music, please. So, Azarbai will strike a pose and Bagi Saban go follow Karne ki koshish karenge. So, let's, let's do this right away. Azarbai, please, go on. Let's do this all together. Everyone, all together, we'll click a picture. So, everyone, all together. Okay, I'll join in there. Thank you so much, Azabai, for being here tonight with us. The media has been waiting for you, so I won't take much of the time. We'll get the opportunity to click more pictures a little later. All right, gentlemen, thank you. Please take your seats. Thank you so much once again. Going out to Dubai police for being here with us tonight. Azharbhai, the media has been waiting for you, or sirf local media, nahi, international media has been waiting for you as well. So without further ado, I'd like to invite, and uh, I'd like to invite you here so that you can kindly say a few words. Please join us here. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for the legend, Mohammad Azharuddin. Distinguished guests on the dais, ladies and gentlemen, and members of the media, international media. 
Anybody from? Oh, very nice. Okay. I'm uh, actually very happy to be here this evening for this uh, camp which we are going to have on the 10th, 11th, and 12th of June. I think uh, Saif and Arbab, I think, should be applauded for that. I think they really <laughs> worked uh, very hard for it, you know, because they have been uh, toying with this idea that, you know, we should have this and that, you know, because that, I mean, we had a lot of uh, discussions. And, uh, I think we came to a conclusion that we should have a camp with a champion. I'm not actually a champion. There are other champions as well. I mean, we want to make champions. You know. Because I think the game of cricket has really grown in, uh, especially in the United Emirates and even the Gulf as well. Because I think it's only because of the Sharjah matches which used to happen long back when I was just, when I just began to play, I think maybe a couple of years before I played. I mean, Sharjah Mr. Bukhate was uh, the person who really, I mean, brought uh, the game of cricket into UAE. And I must also thank Mr. Asif Akbar also and Mr. Nurani at that very point of time that they really worked very hard uh, with Mr. Bukhate and then it used to be called as Cricketers Benevolent Fund Series and everybody got a uh, lot of uh, benefit. I mean, many, many players were given benefits. I mean, the young, the players, the present players and the older players also. And it's been very good and I really enjoyed playing in Sharjah, but I, I also did enjoy playing about a couple of months back, you know. Playing in Sharjah has brought a uh, lot of uh, memories back, you know, uh, from almost like 18, 19 years, you know. I played cricket in Sharjah for almost 16 continuous, 17 continuous years, sometimes twice in a year. So I think I must thank the people who brought cricket to UAE. But as far as this camp is concerned, you know, I mean, I, whatever little experience I have gained playing over a period of time, I would like to impart that uh, experience and knowledge to the younger players, the players who are going to come and attend this uh, coaching camp. It's going to be a fun coaching camp. I know, I mean, a lot of people must be, I mean, when you come into these camps and a lot of boys, you know, they get very perturbed and they get very nervous. I don't, I want to tell the boys that don't get nervous. You just come here, enjoy the practice, enjoy the session and then go back. Because I think the Emirates Cricket Board also has uh, taken the game very far. And I must congratulate the, <laughs> the UAE team for qualifying to the T20 World Cup. It's a very big thing. You know, I really <laughs> would want to wish them the very best and congratulate the ECB for, I mean, giving so much to the game of cricket. And we've got two, three very beautiful grounds on the Abu Dhabi. Dubai and uh, Sharjah, you've got many grounds. I think I was given to understand the other day I had gone to Ajman. I think a lot many grounds have come up. I think all over the UAE there are a lot of grounds are coming up. The game of cricket has really grown. And uh, I know it's very difficult to compete with football, but uh, I'm sure with the way things are going, you know, I mean, we will definitely compete with uh, football as well. <laughs> so I must thank Rafa uh, Bhai also for uh, ex extending so much uh, for this uh, camp and also like to thank the Dubai police for, I mean, giving all the support. I think without your support, I mean, this camp would have been very, very difficult. Um, that's my honest opinion. I want to thank everybody I'm here, you know. I mean, I have nothing more to say, you know, except that, you know, I mean, want everybody to get involved in this camp, you know, we have to, I mean, it has to be a conceited effort. It's everybody has to, I mean, be there, you know, to produce champions. You know, I'm, the on, I'm not the only one person who will uh, produce uh, players. I mean, we want to definitely, I mean, have these camps and produce players so that they can go on and uh, play for the UAE team. Also, thank Yasin Vai for I mean, having me as a, a mentor for the Bangla Tigers. And 
I think it really worked. I know we, I mean, we didn't do very well, but we tried our best. Maybe next time, inshallah, we will definitely do well. I think his son, Zafir, also has worked very hard. I mean, he's put in a lot of hard work, and I must congratulate him also, and thank Yasin Bhaji. And I am very happy to meet Imran here. I mean, I've always uh, loved his bowling. I always loved it when he took the, took the wicket, and then I loved his theatrics on the field. So, I mean, like, it was very, very, it was very hard to catch him when after he has taken the wicket. But I must, I want to tell you, Imran, that I was very good at running. I was very good at 100 meter. I would have definitely caught you up. But I am very thankful that he's present here, such a great personality. I mean, he's done so well for himself and for South Africa. I am very indebted to him that he has come here today, he's taken out his time. You know, he's very busy and playing cricket and still playing. And I'm looking forward to, I mean, having good association with him also. And then congratulate Abba Bhai and Saif also for, I mean, taking this forward. And I wish the Sports uh, Spirit Federation the very best. I hope that we go on to produce many more champions, not only in uh, Dubai, not only in the UAE, but uh, hopefully if things fall in the right place, if we can do things correctly, I mean, we would definitely want to go international as well. And thank you very much, uh, everyone, for coming here and also thank the press. I'm sure you're definitely going to ask me questions. So I'm not very well prepared, but uh, I will try my best. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Mr. Zaruddin. Always humble and cool and brought a smile to everyone's face. Mr. Mohammad Azaruddin, once again, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now it's time that I open the house to the media. So whoever has a question, please raise your hand and we can direct you, uh, that question to any of the members you want to ask it from, including Mr. Mohammad Azaruddin as well. So um, if you can raise your hands and we can come to you. Also, as I was mentioning, Azarbhai, we have international media as well. They're watching us on Zoom right now and they will be sending in their questions as well. So we will take those qu uh, questions also. So, first and foremost, who has a question for uh, Mr. Mohammad Azaruddin? Please mention your name and uh, your organization, please. We'll get you the mic. Hello, uh, this is Priya Jatani from ZTV. And my question is, of course, for Mr. Mohammad Azaruddin. Uh, in your opinion, sir, how has cricket for you changed over the years? Of course, we see different formats and now there's, I mean, of course, there's been T20 and now we even see T10. I'm actually sitting here because of cricket. I must tell you that. But I think cricket has changed a lot over a period of time because when we were playing, it was different. But now it is different and maybe down the line, it is going to be different because I'm getting, getting so many shorter formats. I mean, like the, I mean, T10 also, I think the ICC has approved it only for Abu Dhabi. You know, they have not approved it for any other uh, uh, country. So hopefully, you know, I mean, I mean, with T T10 also has been done really well. It's been taken off very well. I think it's been happening for the last five years. So, I mean, it is very, it's very imperative that you, I mean, uh, uh, try to compare eras. But I think it's very, very tough to compare eras because that time the things were different. Now it is different. Maybe down the line it will be different. So it's very hard to compare eras. But I think the game is going bigger. I think a lot of uh, money is also coming, and then the players are getting benefit. I'm very happy for the players. I think they really work very hard. They make so many sacrifices. And then a lot of people do say that, you know, the players are making money. I think they should make money because the players, there is no game without the players. So I think I... Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it explains everything that Priya wanted to know. Thank you so much, Priya, for the question. Next question, please. Mr. Narayanan. Mr. Nair, rather. Uh, question to Ashwin. What is the quality or trait that a champion should have? And what would be you planning to do to shape these champions? I think the most uh, important thing is to have skill. If you have the skill, then you can work hard on the skill. So I'm trying to just, I mean, in this camp, you know, we have to 
get players who are very skillful and the players who are not very very skillful but they still have a chance to play so i think skill is very very important because i think a lot of people say no you must work hard you must do well you must be you have a lot of determination determination everything but i think without skill all these things are uh, not possible because i mean if you are good at the game if you have the skill then you can improve on that skill and then the result will come so i think sometimes what happens is you know when these type of camps you know you have players who i mean are not very very skill skillful and we all, i also know that they are not going to achieve uh, a lot you know by just coming to the camps so i think we need to be very very honest because we cannot play uh, with the careers of the children because if they are not good they are not good as simple as that maybe they might be good in some other game or maybe good in academics so i think that is the most important thing i want to tell so i always tell people that you know i mean we must always give the right advice to the people you know they like sometimes the parents come in you know because in hyderabad or india wherever i go you know a lot of parents come in and say sir my my boy is very good you must take him with him when i when i see him i mean he's hardly very skillful so i i i have to be very very i mean open and then i have to tell them what exactly it is but if they still want to come and play in the camps still want to come and enjoy the game for fitness you know that's fine so i think the most important thing is skill if you have the skill then you can achieve everything also i was talking to faris bhai yesterday and he was telling me that aapke chote bhai se main baat kar raha hu sir to wo mujhe bata rahe the ki aap bahut determined rahe hain bachpan se hi so skill ki to aapne baat ki but how important that determination is azhar bhai i think you have to have that obsession you know and you have to practice obsessively then only you can achieve something if you don't do that it's very difficult even if you have the skill if you don't put the skill into practice it's not going to help because yeah. you can only have the skill yeah. maybe the skill will take you play a couple of matches here and there but then after that lot of people feel that you know they are very skillful they can do a lot you know but it doesn't work like that hmm. because you have to go you have to go and practice you have to work hard you have to be determined it is day in and day out practice you know because yeah. i mean it took me almost like uh, 12 years of uh, hard work to come into the indian side you know it was not very yeah. easy it was yeah. very tough but i think i mean as if you work hard and results will come there will be lot of disappointment there will be times where you know you score runs but it didn't don't get selected but i think you must not lose hope that's the most important. absolutely amazing <laughs> all right next question from the media please hi uh, this is mohammad abdullah from club today uh, other by uh, do you think that uh, this t10 it has the potential to take to the olympic because the france has been around since the inception of this format well, i think honestly i feel that you know if if a game of cricket has to happen in olympics i think t20 will be slightly difficult so i think i mean t10 uh, would uh, have have a better chance but i think it depend upon the icc in the international cricket council how they present to the indian i mean the international olympic committee so that's very important because how we present but uh, i think t t20 i think 3 hours you know i'll find it a little tough in the beginning maybe if something succeeds you know maybe t10 i mean if if t10 succeeds then we can look into having a bigger game but as far as i'm concerned you know it's my very uh, personal opinion i think if we pitch for t10 in the ioc i think we have a better chance all right next question please yeah hi uh, azhar this is satish here Congratulations! Uh, you have had a fairly good run of uh, international career without any injuries, but today you see so many kids, so many players, frequently falling to injuries, one or the other. So you are going to train the champ, the young boys. So what will be your advice to for them to be fit and fit without getting injuries frequently? I think you must understand uh, every. person every athlete or every cricketer or every athlete has a different uh, type of body you know some some are very good some are less good some are not that good but they still play but i think the most important thing i feel is that you know because now there so many games are being played you know you have to know your body very well because then only accordingly you can train but now i see you know because lot of injuries are happening maybe i mean i was uh, actually running in one of the grounds in uh, i don't know i can't remember but i think the grounds have become very soft so because in the in the in when i was playing the grounds were very i mean like not very soft slightly hard so i think maybe because of the ground maybe the equipment the shoes everything is changed you know i mean nowadays i mean the shoes are 
made with the, have this plastic soles, you know, we got that when we were playing, we had leather soles and it was totally different. So I think now players also doing a lot of uh, gym work as well, you know, because I think at that time we didn't do any gym work, but I think now they say that it's very important that they have to do the gym session and all, but I think if you overdo it, because sometimes I feel that the players, you know, want to look good on the field, you know, because at, in the on the field, you have to look very bad, you know, if everything, all your trousers and everything should be like diving and everything. So on the, off the field, if you look good, it's fine. So on the field, looking good, uh, I, I tend not to agree, but uh, I think as I've said, you know, I mean, fitness is very important, like running is more important and doing physical exercise, a lot of fielding drills will make you more fitter than in the gym. Because I'm, I started do, going to the gym only after I stopped playing. <laughs> Azhar uh, one more related question. You uh, fitness ki baat ki. So how important it is, you baat kar rahe ki practice karne ki. You were an elegant fielder. I think John D. Rhodes ke era se pehle, agar koi fielding mein premier tha, I think it was you. You redefined fielding in that. And, and it was with a lot of finesse. It was with a lot of style as well. How much did you practice to get those catches all the time and the movements that you used to make. What I, what I understand of cricket, your anticipation was really, really good when you were fielding. If you want to really become a good fielder, you have to enjoy fielding. Like not many batsmen enjoy fielding at during that yeah. time, you know, yeah. because they are very interested in batting. But I wanted to excel in fielding also because I think I honestly feel that, you know, I have uh, played three or four matches. I mean, maybe because of my fielding, you know, yeah. maybe I would have been dropped, but I think the team thought that, you know, the good fielder you know, will save 30, 40 runs or make him play even if he doesn't score 10, 20 also. So I think, first of all, you have to like, enjoy fielding. Yeah. And then fielding, I mean, you have to have a very supple body. I mean, you have to be a good runner. Your reflexes mm -hmm. have to be good. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing in fielding is common sense and anticipation. Okay. okay. Because once you learn that, once you have that, then you can become a good fielder anyway. So I wanted to excel in fielding in all positions. So that's how I practice. Uh, I mean, extensively, I mean, for like, for if I was standing at silly point, for me, fielding was like practicing fielding for every position, position. like yeah. deep point or oh, okay. cover or point, silly point or short meetings. For me, that the fielding session was involving everything. Okay. Like what happens sometimes, some fielders are very good at slips and they oh. only take slip catches. But I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to oh. excel in all departments because please, plus I also very quickly realized that, you know, if you have to feel six hours uh, in a day, I mean, it's fielding at deep long leg or deep point, point like third man, you know, it's a very tedious job. Yeah. It's very like the time doesn't go. You know, if you're fielding yes. close in, silly point or cover or midwicket, you know, because when you always involved, the ball is coming yeah. to you, then it, uh, the time also goes quickly, you know, because mm. otherwise six hours fielding, I mean, you have to yeah, concentrate it's, it's very every difficult. time. So I think you have to have, as I've said, you know, you have to really, if you want to become a good fielder, you have to enjoy fielding. If Just very enjoy, quickly, how many hours you used to put in, in your fielding practice? Well, I think after batting, most of the time, you know, like I never used to while away my time when I was uh, practicing, you know, after I finished my batting, maybe for 15 minutes or 20 minutes mm -hmm. maximum, I used to bat 20 minutes or 15 yeah. minutes also yeah. was like too much batting in practice. Mm -hmm. because you, you don't need to practice too much, you know, but when you start, because nowadays, I mean, I've seen, you know, even that during that time also players play for two, two hours, one and a half hours. Which I think it's, I mean, I feel it is not required. Once you hit the ball in the middle, even if you hit 10 or 15 balls in the middle, that means you're hitting the ball well. Beyond that, you don't need anything. Beyond that, you don't want to play with edges. Yeah. So yeah. I always uh, felt that you know, after I finished my batting, it was only fielding, throwing at one wicket. And you know, I never wasted any time on the field. So when I went onto the field, for me, it was like preparing for a match. Oh, well, that's great. And that's why Azharuddin is Azharuddin. Next question, please. Uh, after that, we'll move on to the international questions coming in from the international media who's joined us on Zoom. So any other questions here? Yeah, sir, please go ahead. Uh, what do you feel, you and Mr. Yasin, about your team when they get to the final match? Mr. Yasin and Mr. Azhar, to both. Yeah, Mr. Yasin will answer this. Can you please repeat the question? What do you feel when your team gets to the final match? When your team gets to the final matches, that is what you're asking. So what do you feel, how do you feel when your team gets to the final matches? Uh, well... Anxiety? Uh, happiness? Excitement? How do you feel? Yeah, obviously, uh, it's a good feeling all the time uh, to be in the final or to play some good matches. 
in last season, uh, Azhar Bhai was our brand ambassador. Uh, he has been with me all the time, and uh, he was trying to understand when we lose the match or when we own the match. Uh, eventually, after the match, we talk a lot about the match. Uh, see, the cricket is a passion for me. Uh, for me, uh, winning is not the main thing. To play cricket and in a good way to play cricket is the main thing. And that is what I look for. That's why I'm always uh, looking for the backup. Backup means the talented player. Uh, I always look uh, for talented player around the globe. Uh, eventually, in UAE, we are also uh, searching uh, some uh, talented players. UAE have a very good national team right now. So we are uh, trying to get some more players who will do better in future, who will perform for the national team in future. So eventually final or uh, whatever the match, if we win, obviously we become so happy. Uh, when we lose, we always try to correct ourselves. That's the thing. Well, that's a great answer, Mr. Yasin Chaudhary. Please, get the mic to the brew, guys. from the group. So otherwise boys are doing very well and I'm sure your leadership is going to be amazing. Now my question is from Sir, how this uh, camp with the champion is going to be different from the others? How is it going to be different from the others that are doing the camps? Uh, uh, camp with the champ, to be very frank, this is different. Seth, can you be a louder, uh, little louder please? Now it's okay? Yeah. It's, it's different from the beginning. Uh, we have taken Muhammad Azruddin as the first champ with us. So you definitely know what the kids are going to win, what the kids are going to uh, learn from this uh, camp with the champ. Now, let's come back to the point of why camp with the champ. Camp with the champ is having a pathway system. Usually, you know, the pathway system is really is a long process, it's a long uh, way to reach to the team where the international stars plays. Now, when you go play first class and then domestic cricket, and it takes so much time, we usually will watch the players if they are good enough to represent the uh, league uh, teams or franchises. Then we have franchise Bangla Tigers is with us. Bangla Tigers is giving us an opportunity to uh, get and search the right players to play for their team. So, I mean, this is, this is uh, different. What else I can say for that? I, I, I'll add to this, Shanir. Um, of course, what he is trying to tell you is that there's a pathway here. So you come, learn with Muhammad Azaruddin, and it just doesn't end there, which mostly, uh, you know, the camps happening happens. What happens yeah. is you graduate to another level here. Saif himself is the director of Deccan uh, Gladiators. With next to him, Mr. Yasin Chaudhary is the owner of Bangla Tigers. So we are giving these kids, these young men, the opportunity to actually play with those international names that have been playing franchise cricket all across the world. That is the kind of exposure that nobody else can provide here in the UAE. And I can proudly say that, uh, that we are really proud for that part. <laughs> next question, please. Good evening. This is Guru from uh, Dainik, uh, Chattapani, Bangladesh. So I have a question to ask. Thoda sa, thoda sa zor se bole, Guru sahab. Pardon, sir? Uh, can you be a little louder, please? Yes, yes. I have a question, uh, sir. Bhai. Good evening, sir. This uh, will uh, camp, the, camp with the jam be able to create impact on the kids' life in the short period of time? No. Sir, there is no shortcut, you know, as I have already I mean, there is no shortcut to success. Success is a very slow and long process. So, I mean, I, I will not, I'm not going to make, uh, I mean, give you champion in, in one week or two week or a month. You know, it's a over a period of time, you know, because it depends on the age of the kid as well. You know, if the, if the age of the kid is almost like 13 or 15 years, you know, then it will take him another three or four years to get into that level. So, it is very hard uh, to, I mean, make champions in uh, such a short time. But I think they will learn a lot, you know, I mean, hopefully, I mean, it's up to the child also, you know, I mean, how quickly he grabs things. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.
Moving on, we have a question from the international media. Before, before we move on to you, sir, I'll take a question from the international media that's coming in from India. Vishesh Roy from NDTV. Uh, the question is for Mr. Azharuddin. How will the selection process be done for youngsters to have a chance to be in the camp alongside you? So what is the selection procedure kya hai and how will they graduate to the next level? Well, I think the selection procedure is that, you know, because they have to, I mean, uh, register first, you know, then after the registration, then we'll see the players, you know, um, the players who are going to come, then we are going to select from those players, you know. I mean, there, as I've said, you know, in my speech also, and before also, that there are, there will be players who are highly skilled, there will be players who are, like, less skilled, and there will be players, like, who are, like, just coming up, you know. So I think once we see the players, you know, it's then only I can predict or say something before seeing the players, before starting the camp, I mean, it's very hard for me to say. But the yeah. process will be, like, you know, as, as as it is, you know, I mean, how, how things happen, you know, when you have the people, they come and play, they bat, they bowl, they field, then only we can decide. All right. So, um, I'll simplify this for all you people, for the media as well. Sportsspiritfed.com is the website. You go there, you register for that three days camp. If you want to be a part of the one, uh, the first day only, you can do that. If you want to be a part of all three days, you can do that as well. Sportsspiritfed.com. This is how you register. And then on, based on the skill and the determination and all the other parameters that our expert and champion, Mr. Mohammad Azaruddin has, those players will graduate to the next level. Some of them will win 10,000 dirhams in cash. The others will win net practice with Bangla Tigers international players. And the others will get to stay in the Abu Dhabi T10 League with the Bangla Tigers team. So there's a lot to learn for the youngsters here. So uh, yeah, that was the question coming in from India. We'll come back uh, to um, sir. So your question, please. My name is Nizam from Binzai. My question to Azu Bhai is, is that my thoughts allowed, please? Sorry. Between the skill and the will, you have been emphasized about the skill part, uh, Ajubai. But when you were going through the very challenging phases of the life, how much willpower has helped you to overcome with that? Without willpower, you cannot achieve anything. Because if you, even if you have the skill, as I've said, you know, there will be a lot of disappointments, you know, when you're playing, even players who have really played very well, but they're still not able to play. But that's where, you know, you have to have a strong willpower. I mean, if you don't have the willpower, if you don't have the willingness to fight fight it out, then it becomes very difficult. As I've said, you know, it is like, you know, you can't sit in a comfort zone and think that, you know, oh, I'm going to achieve something. You have to come out of that comfort zone, then only you can achieve anything. But willpower is the most important thing because I remember I want to, uh, I mean, I want to say, uh, give an example in one of the games I was playing, you know, because since you've asked about willpower, I mean, what willpower is it? Because I'm not trying to boast about myself or something like that, but I just want to give an example because what happened was we were playing one game again in West Indies that uh, uh, before it was Madras, now it is Chennai. It was one of the hottest day, you know, it was like in the month of September or something, or beginning of September. It was very, very hot. We had to field first. And then when I went into bat, you know, we were zero for one or zero for something like that. Then I was batting number three. After scoring 10 runs, I was feeling that I'm, I'm not going to continue playing because I was totally like sapped, my energy was sapped and everything went. But I think I had the willpower and I said to myself that, you know, if I do like that, then I'll be very weak in front of my teammates, in front of the whole country. Because I'm playing for the country, I have to have the willpower. So I just still carried on and I got, I think, 81 in that game. But when I went, <laughs> when I, when I went into the, after I got out, when I went into the dressing room, I mean, I didn't know what was happening to me. So somebody was opening my pad, somebody was removing my gloves. Somebody was removing my helmet. So that's how, I mean, that's what his willpower is, you know. Sometimes you have to do out of, you have to do things out of the extraordinary. So that's how champions are made, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Brilliant example, Azhar Bhai. Next question, please. If nobody has a question, then I'll move on to the international media question, which I have here on my phone. So the next two questions, I think I'll be the right person to answer these. Uh, how many students will you be mentoring in the first season? We are thinking about mentoring around 100 uh, students, uh, spread across three days, that is. So 33, 33, 32, uh, somewhere around 34, somewhere around that. 
Um, that is what our expectation is. We might get more than that. We might get a little less than that as well. And is this camp only for UAE residents? It's open for everyone. If anyone who's visiting here in the UAE and wants to learn from Muhammad Azharuddin, then they are most welcome to do that. But mostly because of kids who are playing in the domestic circuit and because it is about honing uh, players from the domestic here in the UAE. And that is why uh, we recommend that uh, most of the players and, and we suggest that most of the players will be the residents here. Next question is, um, how many camps will there be in total? Uh, well, Saif, will you be kind enough to answer this? This is coming in from the international media. How many camps will there be in total? Uh, we have a plan to have almost uh, four camps in one year. This year and itself? It, yes, this year itself. And, uh, and then we will keep on trying to increase the number of the camps. And uh, the, the aim is to have one camp in one month. Absolutely. That's our aim, yes. Absolutely. So, and uh, that's all uh, with the involvement of Mohammed Azruddin. Absolutely. Yes. So, you know, if all the other players, if, for example, next Mr. Imran Tahir comes in, Azhar Bhai will also be a part of that also. So, Azhar Bhai is the patron in chief of Sports Spirit Federation. He will always be, inshallah, a part of this. Uh, do we have any more questions here from the media? Uh, Please go ahead. हर चीज जो है दुबई के अंदर अगर आप नहीं करते हैं तो आपको जरूर अच्छी एक्सेप्टेंस मिलती है हर जगह से ये अच्छी चीज है अभी जो हम लोग चोज कर रहे हैं ये अजहर भाई के साथ ही हैं वो उसके अंदर हम लोग कुछ इस तरीके की चीज़ें कर रहे हैं कि क्रिकेट को जो बैटिंग स्किल्स होती है बॉलिंग स्किल्स होती है उसको कनेक्ट करते हैं पर्सनल लाइफ से तो आगे के कुछ शोज़ हैं अब उनको जो है अगर मैं अभी रिवील कर दूंगा तो फिर वो दैट्स नॉट अ गुड फॉर्म एट द मोमेंट अलग कॉन्फ्रेंस करेंगे इन उसके लिए फिर और भी बताएंगे also also we can tell you this that the sports spirit federation has a lot of plans in the pipelines we are thinking about some major tournaments as well but we will reveal as and when the time arrives so thank you so much for the question next question please go ahead uh, abdullah again from club today uh, azhar bhai i have one more question that i always wanted to ask you please tell us the most disappointing loss of your career and most <laughs> memorable victory i think most uh Disappointing loss, I mean, everybody knows, you know, I don't have to say that. We lost in the semi-final against Sri Lanka in Calcutta. I think for me that was the most uh, disappointing loss. But I think all the wins were very good. You know, when yeah. you win, it's always good. As Justin White said, you know, winning is uh, very important. But uh, I think, I mean, the most, uh, I won many matches. It's very hard for me to say, I mean, pinpoint one match. But I think the match we won against uh, Pakistan in Bangalore, was a very good match, you know, it was a very good win, you know, I mean, it was like, uh, to me, that was a very high pressured game, it was too much pressure on that day, I mean, as a captain also, I was a captain at that time, I mean, added pressure, it was too much pressure, everybody wanted us to win, even the waiters were coming to get tea in among <laughs> the tea, lunch, you know, circle match, jitna, circle match, jitna, circle match, jitna. so, I mean, it was, was a very high pressure, pressure game. <laughs> that's, so that's, that's, that's a Thank cool you. answer, yeah. Um, I think we'll take our last few questions as well. Uh, so we, we need to close the press conference also. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, hi, this is Faisal Coker from Sin TV. First of all, I would like to thank you all for the great initiative and providing such a, a wonderful platform for the kids. And uh, my question to Azhar Bhai, like what will be the age, uh, age group who can register for the camp? And my second question to Imran Bhai, like uh, of his experience, what do you think, how effective this camp will be for the kids? I think that's a good question, fair question. Well, I, I think uh, age, I mean, is not, uh, there's nothing uh, like after 10 years, you know, then definitely yeah. till 20, 21 or 22, something like that. That'll be the age barrier. So after 25, I think it becomes very late. Even 22 is also very late. Yeah. Nowadays, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. I think I. So we, we're gonna, we are not going, I'll, I'll come back to uh, Imran Tahir Bhai as well, but we are not stopping anyone to join this camp because people who are playing domestic, they are playing at uh, the age of 28, 29 also, and even if they want to hone their skills, they are most welcome to join the camp. Imran Bhai, 
the second part of the question. Uh, yes, um, I think, look, uh, as a kid, if I go to camp where I see Mohammad Azruddin uh, standing there, I think I already learn a lot to just <laughs> watching him in front of me, you know. Um, and it's not that because what I've obviously, uh, th why I'm saying that because he's next to me because what he's done for cricket and what he's done for people uh, and all over the world, you know. Mashallah, he's such a big name. So I think if as a kid I go, uh, I definitely uh, come out from the camp and learn something uh, about if I'm a batsman or bowler or whatever. But obviously from bowling point of view, um, whatever the knowledge I have, uh, what I've learned from all my career, from domestic cricket to international cricket, I, I obviously I like to share with the youngsters um, and try to make, make them better leg spin bowler, left arm spin bowler, off spin bowler, and I think that will be my part of it. And I definitely leave the batting with uh, Ajivai. There, there are a couple of pacers I know who have learned from Imran Tahir as well. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for all the questions. I think that's all the questions, is it? Uh, let's then close this presentation ceremony. And I want to thank you all once again for joining us here. Thank you to all our dignitaries as well for joining us here. It was a wonderful event and it was made possible because of all you guys. So thank you so much, uh, the members of the media. Thank you so much for all the guests for coming down here. The one-on-ones that are promised to the concerned people will be happening really soon. But please make sure that you only talk about camp with the champ and Sports Spirit Federation today on one-on-one -on -one that have been promised to all those other people with uh, Mr. Mohammad Azuruddin. That's it. Thank you so much once again for being a part of it. The high tea is open. So please enjoy your refreshments and we'll see you in a bit. Thank you so much once again. My name is Fezan, and I want to say thanks from on behalf of all my dignitaries sitting here as well. Let's hear it once again, ladies and gentlemen, for, for Muhammad Azharuddin before we leave. Can we have a group picture, please? Can we have a mark? Uh, positive spirit uh, team, can you please join us as well? Uh, the brothers and sisters from the Spirit of Ijabiyya, if you have any questions, please join us in the next video.